Hello, my darlings, and welcome to another Let's Build Newcrest. <laughs> well, here we are, crotch shot. Hello. <laughs> Uh, I thought that was a wonderful way to start off this next episode, my darlings. I really did. I thought that was lovely. Spitting once again. How are you all? I hope you're good. Welcome. Happy Saturday. Welcome to the last video of the week, my loves. We are going to be finishing off the bachelor pad today. We're going to be getting their bedroom sorted. It's going to be done. It's going to be gorgeous. Ready? For the apartment above because obviously we've got a family moving into that one my loves we really have we'll talk a bit a bit more about that towards the end of this part but today obviously what well, you can see the boys they're out on the balcony just relaxing relaxing i hope you loved that close-up shot of gabriel's pasty then i think you would love it oh god jay is so gorgeous as well isn't he oh god's a bit close isn't it <laughs> i was all up in a social distancing aiden for goodness lovely lovely and then we've got the the bastard that is that is patrick right here wonderful 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 but before we go in i'm going to pull up some before we go in and start decorating the rest we're going to pull up some of your comments from last time um they were brilliant by the way so keep them coming i absolutely loved them but these here just stuck out to me so i'm going to be pulling up these ones and we'll have a little rifle through them so the first comment that I really liked was from Katrina Chan Chandler or Chandler. I don't know how you say that, but they say, I'd imagine Jay and Zoe are together secretly as neither Annalise or Robert would approve as they would see him as too old for her. I'd probably see Zoe around about 18, 18, 19, maybe. Patrick is a sleaze and often tries to flirt with Zoe whenever she's around. But she always puts him down. As part of Patrick's dodgy dealings, he manages to get photos of Annalise and Sheldon together and attempts to bribe Annalise with them as he knows of their family wealth and having mutual friendship with Zoe. And from having a mutual friendship with Zoe. I kind of like that idea. I think that's a really good twist and it kind of ties those two characters together. And weirdly, I did check this out. From Patrick's room, you can see over to their house as well. So that might come in handy when we put a little camera of a tripod on the on the bloody balcony. Might have to do that. Next one is up from Lisa Bug. Love that. I can picture Patrick being the guy that takes pictures of people and promises to make them famous. This is how he lures his victims back to his apartment. Some people he just uses for woohoo, never to call them again. And others are never to be seen again, i.e. many of the husbands. Shade. Maybe as a special wall where he keeps their photos. I can't, I really liked that like sort of premise. If that's the kind of guy I want Patrick to be. I was thinking like, oh, murder is probably a little bit too uncouth, shall we say. So I'm thinking he's just going to be an absolute dickhead instead. And would do that kind of thing to people. Yeah, I like that. Like that a lot, Lisa. Thank you very much. Next is from Anthem369. Okay, so hot take on the backstories. Gabriel, he hates being a model. He knows he knows, and hates that he's handsome. I really like that idea. It's more of a bother to him than anything. The only reason he became a model was to earn the money for his ailing father back in Brazil. I really loved that. An all-round sweet man, perhaps a match for Hector. There were so many of you guys thinking that one of these guys would be matched in with Hector. But I'm not kind of seeing that. I'm not seeing that kind of storyline with these three I don't know. I'm not sure. Not sure on that one. He's pretty good friends with Jay, but hates Patrick because he knows he's bad. I'm going to try and follow that along, actually, that story. Because Jay and Gabriel, they're, they're not that bad. They're not that bad. They're, yeah, they're chauvinistic assholes. But they're not evil like Patrick is. Patrick is a... Yeah. Uh, Patrick, he is two-faced. He's jealous of his modelling career. Never. He's jealous his modelling career never took off, so he takes it out on the newbies. He always gets away with it though maybe he's sleeping with someone at the top or he comes from big money i would say he's more of a really established photographer and i've came across a, this is not a generalization to all photographers fashion photographers but 
I've done a bit of work with photographers being a hairstylist. And let me just say, nine times out of the ten of them that I worked with were absolute assholes. And we'll just leave, we'll leave it at that. But yeah, not generalizing it, I promise. There's probably some lovely ones out there. Anyway, Becky Hunt. Becky Hunt, he takes pics of his conquests while they're sleeping and threatens to show their husbands if they don't pay him X amount of money. Maybe even Annalise is one of them. I love that idea as well. Very good. I do enjoy it. And there were several more, but they were quite, yeah, they were quite, they were kind of similar to each other, which I really liked. It was this kind of marriage through the storyline with these kind of key elements. So I'm going to mix that into it as well. I'm going to mix the fact that, yeah, these guys are, they are a little bit trouble. They are, especially Patrick. Patrick is definitely the one that I would say lures people back to their apartment, his apartment, or even theirs, um, and gets away with some pretty bad things, i.e. scary photographs getting taken and ransoms for money and whatnot. Uh, I would definitely see him doing something like that. And I really loved this idea with Gabriel as well, being Barbara's toy boy. I'm going to see if I can get a little romance going between them two. Um, I really like that idea. So, yeah, we're going to do it. Anyway, without further ado, there's the floor. <laughs> Let's get into game. We're going to start decorating their bedrooms now i have put a few things out uh, and put a few wallpapers i've also changed the orientation um of patrick's bedroom and also obviously the wallpapers and stuff main reasons being i kind of wanted this separate little area where he can have his kind of photo studio i'm probably going to be like putting the studio along here and uh setting the like tripod and stuff up there maybe i don't know we're gonna we're gonna see how it goes but yeah, I also got the beds out just to kind of get a spatial awareness down, just to sort of see if we can have a nice bit of space. And yeah, I think we can. I do. I definitely think we can. I'm just wondering, what about if I put this here? Because I could easily put this bed up against the wall. Or I could even put it there, actually. It doesn't matter. Um, Just because I could get a little bit more space out of this room. Uh, to ba do And to there. There's a few things I've changed as well through the upper build. Yeah, that's better. That gives me a little bit more room in that place now. And um, there's a few things I've changed. Oh, God, that's not central, is it? Don't worry as well to the 20,000 people that told me. Um, <laughs> I love it, by the way. I sorted the wallpapers out there. We've obviously sorted the flow of this as well. I've obviously got a juice keg. Um, we got rid of the basketball hoop. It just wasn't making sense being there. Um... So what I've done is gave them a poker table and this little bl bubble blowing machine that you guys were saying. Down here, I don't know why that's there. Oh, it's because I tried to maneuver everything around and I haven't put it back yet either. I was trying to maneuver the lounge around to go in this orientation. Um, because someone pointed out the fact that you do see the TV from the back of the window and I hate that. I detest that. So I'm thinking about maybe getting rid of this corner one. Let's try this before we go into the bedrooms. Let's get rid of this corner one. We'll plonk this up to there. I'm going to get another armchair in here. As well. oh, I did get one out. Just get another armchair just in this corner. Doesn't necessarily have to be for watching TV, that one. Just so they have got another chair. And then I can put the smaller um, like flat screen up on the wall here. I'm wondering if that will work. I know that they do stick out quite a lot. Oh, I could use this. I could. Is that up very high? Yeah, I hate that. I hate when TVs are too high. <laughs> I hate it. So maybe I could plonk this here. Let me just see this gap. That's it's it's not the perfect. It's not perfect, but I think that's just a better use of that space. So I think we're gonna do that. Let's um plonk you down to here. And I'm thinking about changing this here for maybe the darker tone. Oh, that's like the same grey there. I think it's because of the... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, if I can put that there. Now, where did I put that games console? I did this here. I'll just put it up on the edge there. That should give them enough space to walk through there. And I just prefer the... That kind of area is a bit better segregated. Something could go here as well, really, but... Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, they're all standing up to attention. 
Loves it. Anyway, I think we're going to start on Patrick's room first. So let's get in and do it. So I've obviously put this wallpaper up with the spooky looking trees on. I just thought that suited his aesthetic perfectly. They've all got built in wardrobes into their bedrooms. So we don't really have to worry too much about wardrobes. Um, I may do a couple of those clothes rails, that cloth rails that came with the Moschino pack. I think that would kind of make sense. Um, yeah, I think we'll do that. Definitely. But yeah, guys, I am going to be taking tomorrow off. So there will be no video from me tomorrow. Um, I'm going to spend the day with my other half. And I'm also, I'm being a quiz master for the family quiz on Zoom in the evening. So I've just had to spend like, God, I think about three hours setting up questions and answers for the quiz. <laughs> but um, me being a Virgo, they had to be just right. Just right. But I will be back on Monday. I'll be back on Monday um, with a very special video that lots of people keep asking. Just a little clue for you there. Um, and then on Tuesday, we'll go and start the apartment upstairs, which will be lovely. And then probably this week, we'll get to Mrs. Higging. Yeah, we will. Mrs. Higginbottom's house as well. So we'll start building that one up too. It's all go, go, go. And I love it like that. Right. He needs like a modern lamp. He doesn't really need two bedside tables because it's only him, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, in fact, I could give him a desk in here. That would be a really good space for a desk, actually. Let me move this bed right along to the window. This can be his kind of editing and office room. Mm, yeah, I kind of like that idea. Okay. Well, we're doing it, aren't we? It turns out we're doing it. Let's get... I don't know what kind of tea... Like, desk. I wish we had a big corner desk I'd lo or a modular desk. I would love to see that. I would. I'd bloody love to see it. Um, I had a few people asking me as well if I had early access to Eco Living. Um, no, I didn't get it this time. I think only a few selective uh, game changers got it this time. So, and I wasn't one of them. Um, but no bother. It doesn't bother me. Crack on. Do what you like, EA. I'm not fussed at all. They've, ob they've obviously... Uh, they're obviously going down with a new kind of route with the AA game changes. But I'm I'm always out of the loop with this kind of thing, guys. I just I just do I just carry on being me. <laughs> and it's not like I don't communicate with like sort of creators within the community. I'm I'm just kind of one of these people that take a step back from like not cliques, but you know what I mean? I'm I'm more of a floater. I like to be friends with everybody. I like to be friends with everybody. So I'm never, I'm always out of the loop because I don't really participate in discussions like in the Game Changer discords and stuff and all of that kind of business. So I'm always out of the loop. <laughs> I really am. I don't know what's going on half the time. In that orientation, that looks a bit boring. I'm going to put it in that, that orientation there against there. Yes. Yes. I'm not feeling that against the wall now though there. I think I'm going to just do that on the back wall. Yeah, that's better. Yes, I'm going to push this into the corner here just so I can get some filing cabinets because these are the filing cabinets that house pictures of everybody's pasties that he's taken when he's stayed over their house at night. Disgusting. That's what he texts to them as well. Give me some money as so I'm going to share it. I'm going to share your the picture of your pasty with, with the rest of Newcrest. <laughs> uh, I love that. Yeah, I think that would be the perfect one, actually. But I actually preferred it in that kind of spacing there. Yes. Okay. And I'm thinking up here of doing some shelves. Some shelving. Um, Maybe like this one. Uh, Maybe this one. No. Yeah. In that charcoal. Oh, no. It doesn't look right there. Maybe that dark one was the was the ticket that's dark brown isn't it yes there we go we'll put a couple of shelves should we just do one yeah i think one would be fine do a couple of shelves there i think we should put some photos up on there we should put some photos of i don't know i wouldn't imagine he would have 
blatantly photos of people that he's been taking out like on his bedroom wall that would be a bit stupid that would be a bit stupid wouldn't it we wouldn't want that i definitely feel this would work in here as well um where though let's have a look mm, no that's a bit let's have a look at that i don't actually mind that there i could move it closer to the bed in obviously a monochrome yes yeah, I do like that. I am going to move this desk away from that wall now, though. Just so it's out of there a little bit. Yes, I'm here for that. Yes. Okay. So, we need to remember that he's a photographer. So, I'm going to go into the Moschino stuff pack and drag lots of stuff. Not on surfaces, my love. That kind of rectifies that. He has got a camera already, but it'd be cool to have... A few more kind of dotted around the place. I think that's a good idea. What's this? Yep, magazines. Can we put you up there? Or should we put you by the here? We'll put you by there. What swatch should we use on that? I always like the first one, but... Oh, there we go. <gasps> maybe that's... Maybe that's Gabriel. Yeah, let's just pretend that's Gabriel on the front of that. Beautiful. We do need to get these out as well. I forgot about this, but I do want to put that in there. Okay. Lovely. Um... Oh, we could get one of these out. But I could, like, maybe size it down to about there. And can we put that on top? No, it doesn't make sense putting it on top of there because it's four pictures and not one. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's one of his uh, famous shots. That's one of his very famous shots that he won uh, a photography award for it. <laughs> you can tell that I've, I've got knowledge, can't you? Yes. I always forget about this. I always forget about this. This Moschino thing. I mean, this would look great in bathrooms, but it doesn't come in very good swatches, does it? Once again, the glass being weird tones. And... But we need to remember that. Obviously, uh, Patrick's got an ensuite as well, which is rather lovely, rather posh. Rather posh indeed. Um, we'll go into activities and skills, and I'll go into here. Grab a few more cameras out. A few little cameras. God, they look awfully. Um, oh, yes. <gasps> this could be the one that he spies on people with because it's got camouflage on it. He can hide in the bushes and then peek out and take a few quick snapshots of pasties. I'm for, I'm for that. I am. I'm for it. <laughs> Patrick Larson, you are under arrest for peeking at pasties. Speaking and photographing pasties. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what else can we get in here out of here? Mm, oh, maybe an Alexa. Yeah, we could get a little Alexa in the corner there. Can I turn you slightly? There we go. Stunning. Yes, that works for me. That does work for me. And then maybe just a few um, pictures that we can pretend he has taken of people but once again it's quite hard to get portraits i always find in the sims 4 there's not very many like people ones and if they are they're usually like movie posters but maybe he's more of a fashion photographer we'll get this one we'll pretend that he um took a photo of someone famous maybe this is somebody who won a nobel peace prize and he had funny and he had his suspicions about patrick because he was a bit weird I like that idea. We're going to go with that. Um, these don't make sense because they'll change. The faces will change on them. And these are going to be too classic. Oh, this could be a good one. Oh, in the green. A film poster. We'll make that one float a little bit so it's not kind of resting. And then I can put a plant in front of that. Oh, that's a gorgeous idea, Aiden. Well done for thinking of it. Thank you it down to about there oh that's absolutely perfect i'm going to change that though to that weird blue gray there we go lovely lovely okay and then maybe just another photo up here have we got like any like war decoration photos maybe maybe we could do that it's a little look i'm trying to have a little quick scan just to see no i don't think we do i don't no no okay well that was worth it, wasn't it? Oh. 
Maybe this is someone he was obsessed with. Why is it not letting me put it on the wall? There we go. Yeah, he was obsessed with her. Stalked her for a few years. Until she started smelling him. <laughs> what is that weird men's cologne coming out of that bush over there? Um, I have no idea where that came from. No idea at all. No, there isn't really. I mean, this one, I know it's a mannequin, but we can just pretend that, that there's a supermodel. She's just very expressionless. Yes, gorgeous. Gorgeous. We do need a little lamp here. Definitely need a little table lamp. Maybe, does this one come in a black? Oh, it's got that, like, stripey. Yeah, that would do. Just on there. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Um, I was thinking about putting a storage box underneath here. I would imagine having him having lots of, like, boxes where he can lock things away. Where are you? Do you come in a dark? Oh, you do. That's absolutely gorgeous. Let's plonk you in there. There we go. Lovely. I did put blinds up in here, didn't I? I did, yes. I did. Um, I don't think I'm going to do... Oh, I know what I'm going to put above the bed. Got to be a mirror, isn't it? He would definitely do what he did in a American Psycho. Don't know if you've seen that movie, but you know the scene I'm on about? When he's in the bedroom and things are getting heated and Patrick likes to watch... <laughs> Wish we could put them on the ceiling. <laughs> okay, lighting. I'm going to do another lamp here, but something a bit more substantial. Do we do... Oh, you've come in a black as well. Yes, that one. Oh, that's perfect. Yes. I'm not going to do a rug under the bed. I am, however, going to do a small little rug just underneath of the desk area. Maybe just like a... Quite a plain... Does this one come in a black? It does. But it's like a blacky brown, which might... Oh, no, it's got that weird blue edge to it. Yeah, I'm not about that life. I'm not about that life, my love. I'm sorry, but no. I think this one, maybe. Let me see what the size that is. Oh, that's quite nice. It matches the, the bedding, sort of. I think we'll do that. Yeah, we'll plonk it right into the corner. It's not cutting in, is it? No, it's not. Yes, that's lovely. Oh, that's ever so nice. Okay, and then up on here, I would probably see him having just maybe a coat hook or something. Could we put that up there? Just that little coat hook. I think it would be substantial. But maybe in like a a blue. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll pop that one to there. Oh, that's lovely. And I'll do a little chair just underneath. I might use the Moschino chair, actually, because that is becoming quite apparent in this household, using this one. Oh, oh, that's a tight squeeze there. Yeah, maybe not. It's a shame, because that would have looked lovely there. I don't know. Would they be able to get past that? No, that really bothers me. That really bothers me. So what I'll do instead is maybe just use one of those little cubes. Where are you? There you are. Maybe just use one of these. Just plonk it there. Somewhere he can sit and put his pants on in the morning. Lovely. Yeah, so we got the wardrobe going on here. I did pull out this little cologne thing. Um, because I was going to put a dresser in, but there's not really much room for a dresser. It doesn't matter because we have got a wardrobe. Uh, unless I move this to here. So it's by the door. Yeah, that's fine. I mean... I could get rid of that now. And maybe use the uh, tiny living one. I don't know. We're going to see. No idea. Where are you? This one here. In that tone. Is that too much of a tight squeeze? No, that's all right. It's not too bad. Those legs going oh, into the wall there. Nope, they're not. They're fine. So I'm going to put that to there. Yes. That's not too bad. Then we can get his cologne and stuff on top. 
And I could. It definitely need a mirror in here. But I'm thinking about putting like a floor length mirror maybe there. I really want to use this little cube though. Let's just put that there as well. So we could use that. Let's do a little mirror on top here first. If I put a little mirror just on top. I could use this one couldn't I? But maybe do it in a red. Do they come in a red? Oh it kind of does. Hmm, that's more pink isn't it? That is more pink. We'll just keep it in that. Oh lovely. Yes. Uh, and we'll do a little... Oh, I wish we had just a normal alarm clock. I would love to see that. I would love to see it. We'll do a clock up here. There we go. Just on that edge there. Oh, yes. Maybe just bring you down. Just a tad, my love. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, absolutely. Can we get a stereo up there? I'm thinking we can. I think I've done it before. <laughs> before. Oh, Christ. Look at the size of you. Oh, they're all pretty large, aren't they? What she said. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just can't say that joke without saying that at the end. I'm a child, I know. Um, Maybe you're just in the white then. Is that touching it? Oh, just a little bit. Not too bad, though, but I'll turn it that way. Yep, little stereo. Yes, okay. And then here, I'm going to do a... A nice, um, a nice mirror, a floor standing mirror. Wish we had more like this as well, like without that pattern on it. Because this could have worked well in here if it didn't have that pattern on it. Because I could have like put it there and it would have acted as a bit of privacy as well, just in case that he didn't have his blinds down. I, in fact, can we use that? I think we're going to use it. Yeah, we'll use that. That's fine. So when he does get changed, he can just come and stare at himself in the mirror. Maybe cry a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. A couple of tears. There we go. Okay, lovely. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of happy with how that's turned out. Right, on to his kind of photography studio-esque storage room kind of thingamajig. That is the technical term. Don't find me. Is this a chair? What are you? What is your purpose? It's a table. Oh, damn. I wanted that to be a chair. Just something that you could sit on. I know it's supposed to like... This is supposed to house all of his photography equipment anyway. Um, What I'm going to do... We've got to remember where the door is. We've got this here. How flat can you sit into the wall, my love? Oh, you have slip in there a dream. That's a bit filth. Um, oh, for goodness sake. There we go. And is it this way? I think it is this way. And then the photographer goes... He can go there. Hopefully, they will. he will be able to get... Oh, that's the wrong way around. Silly bum, is it? There we go. Hopefully, he'll be able to get there. Should be able to. Should be able to. Should be fine. Is that going to be in shot? Yeah, that kind of is. So maybe I do need to shuffle this just just closer. This is a sliding door anyway, so it doesn't really matter about it being open or closed. Um, just want to get a nice route that they can actually walk around quite easily. Lovely. And then maybe I'll just do one light kind of in this orientation. I could like put it do you know what I could do? I could size it down and maybe lift it on up onto this box. Seeming as we're not allowed to sit on it. Do you know what? That could work. That could work. So we've got that little area going in there. Lovely. And what I might do is get the... Where, where are we? Where are we? Who are we? Why are we? <laughs> Why are we? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have no idea what I'm saying half the time. So maybe I can get one of these up here. And we could just sneak a couple of photos of people on them. You'll find out who next time. 
I'm not going to get him going around taking photos of people. Not weird at all. No. Not at all. Now, question. If I put this up here, do the Sims just walk through it? Because if they do, it's happening. Like if I put it like there, can the Sims just walk through that? We'll test it out. I don't mind seeing them just walk through it. We can pretend that that's kind of just to get the, the light out of his little studio. I, th I don't think I'm going to add any more into his studio. I think he's got all that he needs in there now. Um, I'm going to keep the spotlights as well in these bedrooms. It's fine. We'll do that. Uh, what are we up to here? Uh, we'll just co put a quick bathroom in. A quick shower and a quick toilet. Quick toilet. Uh, we'll use... Because it's only a four square, we'll use the um, the university shower. So I'll put that one there. And we're going to do a toilet and a sink on this side. Very simple, very classic, very stunning. So let's... I just want to use CC. Um, Where are you? There we go. We'll do it all in dark as well. And then we'll use that same um, sinky, sinky. Um, use the same sinky. Oh my lord. Yeah, just there. Absolutely beautiful. And this is a very dark bathroom, but I like it. I like the mood. Um, and just a toilet roll holder. This is why I don't like doing bathrooms, because I just find it so repetitive compared to everything else. And a towel rail <laughs> a towel rail where are you there we go lovely yes gorgeous absolutely stunning should be able to use that no problems okay well we're done with patrick's room i think the room we move on to next will be maybe gabriel's okay so we're into gabriel's room obviously we changed the layout a little bit just to give a bit more room for over there and I kind of like his bed pushed up against the wall in this area. I think it just leaves a nice bit of space then to be able to play around with. So I'm thinking I'm going to do that. I don't think I'm going to change the bed either. I think the bed kind of suits for in here. But I do think we need to change this bed. Just, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But, um, but yes. So, Gabriel. Obviously, this place is rented. So they can't have as much personality as I would like to put in to this place. Um, because if I could, this would have been Gabriel's room. I would have made it kind of remind him of home a little bit. I could maybe put up a photo of like a really nice, what, what about that beach like photo? Where is that? That could be Brazil, like Rio Beach. Um, where are you? There we are. Does it come in... Oh, there's a grey there. <gasps> yes. Maybe we'll put that above the bed just to remind him of home. Oh, we like that. Yeah, we'll put that one there. That's very nice. And Gabriel is, is a bit of a ladies' man as well. as well. So, I am going to do this. He is another one that likes to, you know... See the process, shall we say. <laughs> Wish we could put handprints on the mirror like Rose from Titanic when she was in that car. <laughs> uh, you know what I thought you mean. Um, and he, in fact, let's use that. We could use that t tall uh, dresser that came with the tiny living in this part. Maybe oh, I could do too. I always forget how skinny that is. I wish all the furniture had that kind of footprint. It would be very, very nice. Maybe I should do two of these. Just next to each other. But I'll push them up to each other. Yeah. Let's push them up to each other. I was even thinking maybe Patrick could even own this apartment. I forgot to even mention that. Maybe Patrick could own this apartment and he releases the two rooms out for models. So all of the time, the room are changing with people so it's not always gabriel 
and Jay who's living here. Maybe sometimes they could be females and then he could put secret cameras up. And, you know. Do that kind of business. Yeah, I kind of like that there. What can we put on top there? Maybe some more. Oh, I wish we had like... F I'm, I'm going to do some portraits of Gabriel. We'll do a big portrait of himself up there. That would look great. Let's get some more cologne and stuff out. I would imagine him being very particular about his appearance and his scent. I would. So we'll get out. Hmm. Where are you? I can never find these. I'm just going to pull a few things out. One second. So yeah, I pulled out the cologne and this like little object as well that came with. It's called Eel the Toilet. That's so funny. Vintage glamour. And then I pulled out this and maybe this is like love letters from all of the older mature ladies that he's been romancing i like that idea a lot i do indeed um i might get even give gabriel a desk in here or maybe i'll give gabriel his own like workout machine let's have a look let's have a little look maybe i could do that i don't want to give him a treadmill because we've already got treadmills downstairs so maybe i could give him a ice rink. I like that. <laughs> I'm joking, obviously. Maybe one of these. How much room does this need? Can I like put it in that orientation and the wardrobe would still work? We're going to test this. That's taking up a lot of room though. If I put that there, I hate that colour. I don't even like it in black. Have we got a better one of these? I never use these really. Oh, here we go. Look. One from Spadair. Yeah, I think we'll use the one from Spadair. Oh. Zipped off then. Yeah. Yes, that's better. That's the aesthetic that I was looking for. That is the aesthetic. Now, I'd, I'd probably see Gabriel as a bit of a sporty kind of guy. A bit active. Let me get my drift. Um, so maybe I will... Oh, where's that sports equipment from? I'm going to find it. There we go. Just that like pile of sportsy stuff. I think that would look quite cool in here. So we're going to have a big picture of him up there. Maybe I'll do a couple more here and there just of him. I think that could be quite cool. Now hear me out with this one. This little duffel of cash. I was thinking, why don't we... If it will work, it might do. Come on, come up the top. Oh, it does. I put like that one there maybe he's been laundering a little bit of cash this would suit patrick a bit more as a character but maybe gabriel's a little bit sneaky because he has been romancing all of these older ladies we'll plonk that to there and then my friends what we can do is put a couple of vents not in that size because that's huge. Maybe we could just do one. And then what he does is secretly stores some cash. Let's do one on the other side as well, just for realism. Store some cash. That's not equal, is it? No. Oh, well, you get the idea. And he keeps all of his secret stash in there. Oh, I like that idea. Love that idea. Well done, Aidan. Thank you very much. Very glad that you liked it. <laughs> um, and I'm thinking maybe this area could do with... Maybe we could do a couch here. Or we could even put the couch here. Like a small little one. And a little TV above there. And then we could fit a desk and stuff in here as well. Let's do that. Let's do that. A little Ikea couch. Maybe we'll use it. Oh, we could use it in a white. Yeah, we'll use it in a white. We'll plonk that right to there. We need a mirror in here as well. We mustn't forget. He is a little bit of a vein bugger. He really is. Um, and then I'll... Oh, can we get this in here instead? Of the wall one? I think we could. We're going to bloody try anyway. Oh, yeah, we can. Oh, we definitely can. If I can put that to there. I think I'm going to turn this couch into a grey, actually. Yeah, that's better. Yes. Yes, I'm here for that. I very much am. Right, so some more mirrors. I know this place has got 20,000 mirrors, but he's vain. Can't help it. And this is not saying that all you Brazilians are vain at all, okay? You're bloody gorgeous. 
we'll leave it at that. <laughs> um, we'll put a little rug here, and then I'm going to fit a desk into... Oh, maybe I should have... Maybe we can just skadoodle this. What is going on with the, like, the cursor lately? Very weird. Um, Yeah, maybe we could do that to there. And then I'm going to put a small little desk up in the corner here. With just a laptop. But it doesn't need like a desktop, I don't think. Um, should we do this one? Yeah, I think we'll do this one. In obviously a darker tone. Oh, the grey was quite nice then. Yeah, that's nice. Up into this corner. Squash it in. Absolutely. And then we'll get a, just a normal, generic chair in there. Will he be able to get in there? I hope. He can. It doesn't look like it at the minute. Hmm. I don't want to push that any further along because it's really not in line with the sofa then. Hmm. We'll figure that out. We'll play a test it. It will be fine. I've just remembered I didn't do the balconies, did I? But we'll do that just now. Right, nice little laptop there with a nice little lamp going on. Just a normal. Yeah, this one. Oh, again, great, uh, absolutely living for the slots, always living for them, in fact we'll use this one but we'll do the same one as what Patrick has got, yes, 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 and this is the only natural daylight that this room gets, obviously it's not architecturally viable for a room but He's got outside space, so we cannot be too fussy. Um, and here, I'm just going to put a nice geometric rug in, in black and white. Let's see what we come up with, with the colours. Black. Hmm. A nice geometric one, please. If you will. What would you look like in here? Um, that's not too bad, actually. That's not too bad. Do you come in like a grey and white? That would be even better. That's a bit too light now. No, we'll just keep it as that. Yes. Yes, okay. And then up here, I'm just going to put a nice photo of something. Of something. I don't know what, but we're going to put it up there anyway. Um, Maybe we could... What's this? Oh, yeah, that's the city, isn't it? <gasps> yeah, we'll put that up. Again, paying respects to where he's from. This could be one of the main cities in Brazil. Yes, let's do that. Um, So he's got a big mirror, so we can use that to kind of get dressed in. So we don't need a standalone one. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Obviously, they've got his little balcony space going on and here. Yeah, I'll just mainly probably just put a chair on the balconies uh, outdoors for you. I know we've got the black swatch on, but it's kind of making sense, really. That's all we seem to be using for this place, this monochrome environment. Um, we can put you there. <gasps> Why don't we put another one of these out on? Oh, God. Just thought. Um, Jay's going to be getting his pasty. Getting photos taken of, isn't he? We'll put that on there as well. Flop you to there. Can we not? Can I not put this on top of there? I don't think we can. I, maybe I can maneuver it up with the nine key. Let's see. This just looks a little bit more, you know, stalkery. <laughs> <laughs> So let's see if we can get this up there. Oh, I think it's... Oh, it's going to work. Yes. I mean, he's not going to get the greatest of views. Where's Annalise's again? Is it down? Oh, it's on the other side. Oh, no, it's there. So it is that. But you can't see it. But we can just pretend that you can. Shush. Shush. Yes, that's fine. Oh, my God. Once again, got my sensitivity up way too high. Okay, so yeah, we'll get we'll put a, a little a little chair onto this space as well. I forgot 
I could put a little plant out here as well, really, couldn't I? Just to... I know. In fact, I'll put that one in the corner and then I'll flop you to there. Just to add a little bit more privacy into that big glass window. Yes. Yes, we're there for that. We are. Um, and then Gabriel... I'm going to give Gabriel his own... He loves the sun. He's a sun worshipper. So I'm going to give him his own sun lounger out here because he deserves it. Yeah, in fact, what I'm going to do is put it in that orientation there. And then I'm also going to put that same plant over onto this edge. Do I want to use that spot for that plant? Should we just use the plain white one? I think we will. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. There we go. All right, let's not cut into the wall, sweetie. There we go. Oh, that's bloody gorgeous that poor poor jay <laughs> he's got no privacy <laughs> it's okay he's fine he likes to share his pasty with everybody <laughs> right i don't like that bed i don't think we're gonna find a new bed for this place so jay in my head was like the last one to move in so i reckon he's maybe has only known them three weeks so I want to, his room to reflect the fact that he's just moved in. So maybe doing a few boxes here and there. He hasn't really unpacked properly because he's been on all of these photo shoots and stuff. I'm liking that storyline. So maybe we could give him the blow up bed. Like he's a, he is like struggling at the minute. Ah, oh, I forgot about the swatches with that one. I mean, it's got a red one. Maybe we could give him the blow up bed for the minute. His new bed's on order. That's a good, that's a good, um. Yes, yes. And then I'll use the those weird suitcase thingies to act as... Do we want to put them, like, by the... Yeah, maybe we'll put them here. Not in those tones. There we go. Put those there. And then I'm going to use that Moschino um, clothes rail. Oh, I forgot. It's got a dress and stilettos on it. And a handbag. It would have been nice if they had, like like masculine and feminine like versions of this instead of having a mix of everything oh that's a bit crap it has got this one though yeah we'll use this one because this one's kind of packed up already look yes yes we'll use this one we'll plonk you to there so he hasn't been to ikea yet <laughs> hasn't been to ikea yet and we'll do a nice big maybe we'll do a big pile of boxes there Oh, the storyline is developing and it's making me absolutely moist. Really is. I'm definitely here for it. I will not lie to you. I am 100% here for it. <laughs> um, Where are you? I'm just going to find them. One second. Okay. So we've pulled out a few bits. I've got, I'm just going to size this one up, see what it looks like. Oh, that looks quite good. I think I'll change the color of it though. Maybe to... Oh, yeah, the grey. Yes. Okay, and then we'll flop this one on top. Um, Shall I size it up again? I think I might. Hopefully it won't float. That's floating. So Maybe I'll just bring it down and then just turn it just slightly. Not so it's cutting into the wall. I mean, it is cutting into the bottom a little bit there, but shush. There we go. Some more storage. They're not going to go on top, but I am going to make it go on top. So yeah, the, Jay does not know what he's let himself in for living with Patrick. He's got his suspicions about him being a bit weird and a bit seedy just through the amount of people that he brings back to his um, bedroom. I would say so. Let's plonk you to there then. Oh, you're floating like a bitch. Let's get you down to there. Do pots and pans and whatnot. Um, we'll flop this one down here. Just a few files. And another little box there. And then I'll put you... I've also bought out the shoe thing there as well. We'll plonk you to there. Just look like it's bedroom stuff. Yes. Yes, yeah, storyline. I also pulled out this here. Uh, maybe he's 
trying to find somewhere to put his art. But for the minute, he's kind of put it against the window because he doesn't like the thought of Patrick being able to poke his nose in at his past day once again. Um, So shoe rack there. Let's get a little mirror up as well. I still would imagine him being quite vain as well. I really would. So maybe just a little small one for the minute. In a darker tone. There we go. Like that. And maybe like a camping chair. Maybe a camping chair in here. Because they always come in handy when you're moving. They really do. They really do. So yeah, we'll plonk his camping chair in that corner over there. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of him uh, kind of freshly moved in. And this is his room so far. And he's far too busy to do anything with it at the minute. Um, And maybe I could give him a little desk. We'll give him a little, a little desk. Maybe this one. Again, he's going to need a desk anyway to get modelling gigs and whatnot. So maybe he had to go Ikea and buy this desk and desk chair. Hopefully he should be able to get in that bed. I might actually move it a little bit further. There we go. And we'll get a little laptop on there. Kind of a beaten up one. He's not had his big break yet. Not had, not had his big break in the modeling world just yet. Yes. Yes. I think that will suffice for the minute. It kind of tells the story without doing too much. So he's only just moved in. I would say Gabriel's probably lived here for about a year. And beforehand, a, f a girl used to live in this one. But she mysteriously disappeared one day. She mysteriously disappeared one day and left all of her belongings behind. Very strange that. What could have happened? What could have happened? Okay. That is this part done. We haven't done the bathroom yet, but I'll do that off of camera. Um, and you know the reasons why I don't need to say anymore. <laughs> don't need to say anymore. But yes, I think we're done with this. That window's glitching out there. How dare you? I also put that uh, on the window as well. Just because the back of the TV was there. Someone pointed it out, so thank you, lovely person. Um, and I put that there, but I kind of like it being there now. Kind of adds a little bit of difference into the room. I've also done a microwave, a dishwasher. Uh, and I couldn't find the bloody protein powders anywhere. I don't know what pack they came from. Uh, I've tried to look for them everywhere. But we're just going to pretend that there's protein. Protein powder for the boys, for the lads. Okay. Well, the bachelor, the bachelor apartment is finished, my loves. We're going to have a little quick tour. We're going to have a little quick tour. So in you come. Through this into the main space, the bookcase and the dartboard, the little indoor bar, lovely. I put the mirrors up as well, like you guys were saying behind the drinks there. The little dining area, the lovely little kitchen, stunning, and the living area. I'll make sure to get this player tested as well, just so they can use it and whatnot. Um, into Gabriel's room, lovely absolutely gorgeous very monochrome but we're absolutely here for the monochromeness of this place into patrick's so patrick's obviously got the bigger more established room being the owner of a part of the apartment i'm gonna say that now yeah and then he's got his little cd photography studio on the end here lovely with his little outside space where he can oh I can... am i gonna be able to get to that height no but you can take pictures of people walking like that lady there. See, you can see her pasty from here. Um, <laughs> Let's go over this. No, this way. And into Jay's room. So Jay has only just moved in. He's still got to unpack all of his stuff and that yet. But he's got his first big gigs ready. So he's going to be making some money in a minute. In a hot minute. And then off onto the balcony area. So they've obviously got their little sunny areas over there. They've got their juice keg that I've put in. Stunning. A little bar. I did uh, use the correct pillars this time as well. <laughs> um, over into the barbecue area where they can play poker and have a little smoke and invite all the ladies back. Yes. My darlings. We're done. 
We're absolutely done. I'm going to be back on Monday. Um, with a special let's build for you. <laughs> um, and then on Tuesday, we will, we will be back with the family that are going to be moving up here. Now, I'm going to remind you of the family that are moving up here. It's going to be one of Robert's uh, colleagues with his wife, plus their teenage daughter and their child son. So this is where the, his room's going to be, the child son, teenage daughter, master suite. So it is a family of four. Um, as always, I want you to get your imaginations working. What characters do you think the teenage daughter and the child should have? The child's obviously going to be the bully because we're going to pretend that he bullies um, Pierce. And we've already got kind of a basis of what the mum and dad are going to be like. But also we need to think about what the teenage daughter is going to be like. Now I kind of want, I don't know if I want the teenage daughter to be a bit rebellious to the fact that she is, um, uh, that she is like from a rich family and she doesn't really enjoy that. I was even thinking of um, making her trans um, and she's actually a trans male or they are actually a trans male and but they're just really struggling with their feelings and stuff. I think that could be quite a good storyline to bring in. I know I definitely want to do some trans characters in this saves file. Um, one of them being living in another household as well. So I don't know. That's just some ideas. The rest is up to you, my friends. But have a great Sunday. Have a great rest of your week. And I will see you again on Monday. Goodbye.